salmon.
have a family and all of that. So I decided I would change my major <laughs> to my to the ECE. So early childhood education. Okay. And how did you use that? I worked at San Jose City College, Evergreen College, and with private nursery schools for years. I think I'll total it's about 25, 30 years. So what did you teach? Well, I would I just had every day, every place was different. But you know, the basics, the ABCs and the numbers and all that exciting stuff. But the best part of it was that I got to be with all these children. And that's what I really love doing is being with the kids. Any experiences that were, you know, um, meaningful or in, were you really influenced? I, I can't think of the right words, but. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there, I can tell you a fun little story about one of my classes because I just got the biggest kick out of it. The Lion King movie had come out and I had just purchased the tape. And so I was playing, uh, playing it one morning and I'm, you know, I opened the door and the Lion King is playing. The children went wild, especially the girls. The girls came running in and they wanted me to play one song over and over and over again. I got so sick of that song, but they were dancing and dancing and dancing, and they were having so much fun. Then the boys started, and so everyone was dancing. Even I was dancing, <laughs> so we had a good old time. And how old were these kids? Three. Oh, three oh years gosh. old. Oh, gosh, can't you picture it? <laughs> oh, it, it was fun. It was yeah. really, really, really fun. And I love it when the kids would go home for the weekend and return on Monday, and the parents would come up to me and say, well, Mrs. Campen, we, this happened in the house and we were talking about her around the table and uh, our son said, Mrs. Campen doesn't do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> and so they wanted me to know that uh, I have a little power at home too. So it was kind of cute. But they didn't perform. I thought they were going to do a Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had a lot of that. It was just impromptu stuff though. So all of us would get up and dance and work some of the wiggles out. Where do you live here? Which unit? Oh, E-121. E-121, and I hear there's something interested on the shelf outside. <laughs> Has anyone seen it? At, oh, an elephant, right? Yes, a wooden elephant that was my mother-in-law's. And <laughs> she just loved it. And I knew no one else would take it in the family when my in-laws passed away. And so I took it and a, years, a few years go by and I heard a story about my mother, mother-in-law acquiring this wonderful, wonderful elephant. And my girlfriend's mother was with my mother-in-law and they both bought one. And then my mother-in-law got it home. You want me to go ahead and do it? Don't ask me. <laughs> Don't anyway, ask me. Don't get permission it, from me. Okay. Anyway, they bought these elephants and they were both standing looking at the elephant and they, they decided to name it. And it's not a nice name, but it's big, ugly elephant. You, you've seen me write this, I think, in, in emails. <laughs> so it's a big, ugly elephant. And um, I, when I found that name out, about that name. Now, every time I see the darn thing, that's all I think about. This whole, the name just runs across my brain. So E21. Yes. So you can visit the elephant, you know, sometime and use whatever language you want. Yeah, that, to I don't care. Okay. I won't hear it. You uh, volunteer at the thrift shop, right? Yeah, I do. Um, excuse me if I ask you a question you've already answered. That's OK. I have my brain is I understand. somewhat limited. You understand? I do. <laughs> uh, tell us about the thrift stop. I know it's near Pizza My Heart. Yes, it is. Yeah, because I used to yes. hang out there a lot. Yes, yes, it is. It's on Minnesota and Lincoln Avenue in Willow Glen. And we it's a little thrift store, all secondhand goodies that are sold there, clothes, knickknacks, men's clothes, baby things. It, we've, all kinds of stuff. 
Anyway, and the money we raise goes to the Lucille Packard Children's Hospital at Stanford. And uh, we're all volunteers. There is not one paid employee. And um, so we do a very good business. And before the COVID, we gave the, a check of about $900,000 to the hospital. And that was two years ago. So we hope we make that this year, this year or more. So and how, what are your hours and days? Our hours at the moment are 10 to four, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Yeah, Friday and Saturday. And right when, now, are, when are you there? Oh, I'm there when it's closed. <laughs> I'm there when it's closed. I'm, I'm there on Mondays. I get my department all set up and. Oh, so you're not, okay. No, not yet. I, usually we, we are okay. open, but not yet. We don't have enough volunteers returning. Okay, you can answer the next questions. Okay. Steve, uh, where are you from? <laughs> Gee, that's hard. <laughs> um, where are you from? Oh, no. <laughs> he was, he know. says San Jose. <laughs> but he was, he was born in San Francisco and raised in San Jose. Okay, and uh, Steve, I understand you've had an embarrassing moment one time. What, what did it have to do? Oh, with his hike with his cousin. And you want to tell that story? Step back, talking step. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, he he and his cousin like to go camping and backpacking, and this one time. The guys were going to go down into Kings Canyon and camp, but go on horseback. So they went and they got down, they got settled. And they went to bed that evening. The next day, the horses were gone. Totally gone. I mean, they were, there was nothing left. N nothing at all. So they're looking for the horses for the next two days. And then Steve's cousin decides, well, I better hike out and get some help. <laughs> <laughs> cell phones don't work down there so he, his cousin hiked out and this little lady <laughs> was running her dog right and the dog would chase the car and they'd go for a little routine little run every morning and she picked up my cousin and finally we were able to get the help for the guys and the, the owner was not happy but anyway he came down and got the rest of the guys and oh, that was just something else again <laughs> Guess they were down there longer than they were supposed to be due to the fact the animals were gone. But that's it. He could tell it much better, but he's very shy. <laughs> well, what else can you tell us, Steve, about yourself? <laughs> I'm very shy. <laughs> you can all see that she's very shy. No, huh? I'm saying he is. <laughs> I know, but she is too, you yeah, know. Well. That's never smiles I, <laughs> but i asked her to please smile today during this and i think she's doing you know I'm, a good job I'm, I'm working hard yeah. at it <laughs> what else could you tell us about yourself steve well <clears throat> he's been married 52 years oh <laughs> where are you <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yes, it is the same woman. <laughs> 52 years. Wow. Yeah. He has put up with your wife. <laughs> you have put up with your wife for that long. Oh, and I loved every minute. <laughs> yeah, did you? Okay. <laughs> Never dull. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about what Steve, uh, what kind of work he did? Oh, I'd be happy to tell you. He uh, no, worked I, for... <laughs> I, oh, I worked for Wells Fargo for uh, 28 years, and um, it was an experience. It wasn't the best experience in the world, but that was that. And he retired early because uh, working was giving him some health issues, high blood pressure. So it wasn't worth sticking around. You sure around. it was work that gave him high blood pressure? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Anything else you can tell me about your family? You know, siblings and. Oh, I have two sisters, 
And uh, one right now is uh, in an Alzheimer's unit in Modesto. Okay. And she's going to be 80. And as Steve is too, he's going to be 80 this year. And uh, she's doing pretty well. He and his sister are both 80. Yeah. My sister and oh, me. Oh, well, I thought you were, I better quit doing this because <laughs> we're getting mixed up. That's okay. That's okay. Just tell me about Steve then. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said earlier, born in San Francisco, raised here. His father was the county executive of Santa Clara County for 20, 20, years. For 20 years. And uh, he has a, two brothers and a sister. And they're scattered about. And um, and anyway, that's about it. <laughs> but he loves to hike, backpack. Can't do it right now any longer, but he loved it and all the time. Yeah. What he, do you do in place of it now? The nothing. And you don't, you don't, <laughs> nothing okay. at all. No. Okay. There's one thing I forgot. I'm a member of PEO, that's a women's organization, that Angela, I know of Angela being a member of it, and I will be a member for 50 years this month. Thank you. They raise funds for a women's college and um, give, they give scholarships to women who are returning to school, college, and getting a better life for themselves so we give them grants that kind of thing and we don't pay for the full college experience but we help them out and young women from high school yeah oh there's a peo you're 64 years oh gosh janice that's terrific but um anyway that's another thing i've done a lot and i just can't remember okay, <laughs> okay. see it's i'm I'm in the right place. And anything else that uh, you could tell us about Steve? <laughs> um, he safe. loved fishing. Fishing was a big deal uh -huh. in our household. And um, he, he, he loved his family. That was the utmost. And uh, he loved making a kayak with our son for Indian guides. And so that was kind of a fun thing. They'd go out on the weekends and try building this thing and they tell, did it. Tell us about your children and what they're doing now and where they are. I have, a, we have a son that, who is soon to be 50 years old. He lives in Willow Glen on the outskirts of Willow Glen, uh, about 10 minutes from here. And he is a surveyor for um, granite construction mental break there anyway um and he's married and has they have one son he's 13 he's 13 and uh very much growing up and he is a definite teenager that attitude is coming <laughs> so but he's a wonderful young man he plays tennis and he's doing very well in school and um, he's just a fine fine young gentleman so and, and his wife my, my doug's wife makes jewelry Okay. And other children? No, we lost our second child. Oh. That's one reason I volunteer at the thrift box because we give them all the, the money we give them is for uncompensated care. And Steve and I understand what that's like. So um, to have to go through that. And especially if you're a young couple. Uh, so anyway, that's why I volunteer at the that's box. Good reason. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I love it. I could work there every day. That's how much I love it. How did you find the terraces? Well, we had heard about it through our cousin, because our cousin's mother stayed here years ago for about five years, I think was. And she had a little apartment and, and then she graduated up to the other things. And what, what was her name? I can't remember her last name because it was different than our cousins. Okay. Um, but she was here for a while and she loved it. And so we remembered that. And the first time we came over was we met with Debbie. But what really impressed the two of us the most was that we came up that courtyard and everybody said hello. That to me, that, that says a lot. And 
other places, people just weren't friendly or they appeared not to be friendly. Let me say it that way, because I'm sure they are nice, but this place felt like home as soon as that happened. I, I told Steve on the way out, I said, this is the place for us. And what's so funny is that before leaving that evening, Debbie was taking us on the tour and <laughs> just get, we were getting ready to leave. And this woman comes through the door, pushing her husband in the wheelchair, going to go for dinner. And this woman is very tall. And I'm looking at her and I said, I know you. She says, you know me? She says, you look familiar. And I asked about what she did. You know, were you a, a teacher or whatever? I was a teacher. And I said, were you a principal? And yes. And I said, oh, I guess, guess who? <laughs> Roberta Bondelay. <laughs> So she was our principal and we were told to call her Bert. So if she's ever around and you hear me say Bert, that's why <laughs> I'm used to saying Bert rather than Roberta. Well, I think many people call her. Do they? Yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, I love it here. We both love it here. Um, we look probably know a lot of people already. <laughs> I don't know their last names though. <laughs> Especially with the masks, we the were masks, talking. The masks are real. It, it is, it is. And for a newbie, it's um, yeah. after I get used to people without their masks, then I'll probably remember the last yeah. names, but I don't at this point. Not everyone's. Okay, well, do you have anything else or shall we go on for questions? Do you have anything? No, okay, I didn't think so. Okay, <laughs> no, questions are fine. Okay, anybody for questions? Yes. Tell us about your travels. Oh, well, we, we've done our fair share of traveling within the States. We went to Australia. We love going to Maui. My in-laws had a place in Maui that we stayed. And after they passed away, they left it to Steve and the children. And so we would go over for a month at a time. And we loved it there. Um, in Maui, we went there and we we try to go every year for a couple of weeks now, but we'll see. Um, anyway, we went hiking, backpacking up to the Sierras, um, did a lot of that kind of thing. And um, where else have we been? <laughs> oh, Alaska. We went up on the Inland Passage and um, had a great time with that. And we went a few years ago, we went to, to Alaska and saw my sister-in-law and the children, and we went out fishing on the salmon boat, and we, our son caught a beautiful salmon right away, and then I caught something, and it was an, a squid, and that was a miserable thing to bring in, but I did it, but <laughs> so that's basically, uh, it, we were around here going to Disneyland and all those other places, and Denver. Our son lived in Denver for 10 years, so I think that's Oh, I did. I had, yes, I forgot the other one. <laughs> I think we should report this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she lives in Sacramento, and uh, she she's just doing her thing and with her kids and grandchildren. So, not much to say, really. <laughs> we're much closer to being settled this time than we than we were. <laughs> but yes. Yes. What was that about? That's okay. I mean, everybody pretty much knows. Um, but our floor, we have a manufactured floor, and we decided to put that through our entire apartment. And so when we moved in, I noticed something about an area in our bedroom, and then it grew from the bedroom throughout to the entire um, apartment. The floor was installed incorrectly. And so we went through many hurdles and so we had to replace it. And they, so they, we had to move out <laughs> and then they took, everything was taken care of. The terraces were just wonderful to us. And then we moved back in and the day we moved back in, all of a sudden this woman appears at our door and I don't know who she is. And all of a sudden she says, are you okay? And I said, yes, we're fine we're just moving back into the apartment. She says, I'm so-and-so from the wellness clinic or whatever. And 
<laughs> the alarm had been set off. So I, <laughs> and here the guys are going in and out of the apartment and she's standing right there. Are you okay? Are you? Anyway, so, but we're back, we're back in and we're happy to be back in. And now we're getting re really and truly settled. I had that happen the first week. I think I was here down in R174. I got a call at 2 a.m. Are you all right? I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I had brushed against the wellness and somehow. Well, anyway. the first time they came out, it was, I think, we're not really sure, but we think it was because I had my towels draped over the towel rack. Oh, and yeah. the alarm was there. Oh, okay. I, I knew nothing about these alarms, but that's what was, you know, you hang towels up in a bathroom. Yeah. So I just took it for granted it would be okay. I think that was a big problem. <laughs> okay, any other questions? I took our, yeah, they, most of the knickknacks, I packed up some valuable things that I didn't want them to deal with. And, uh, but yes, they packed everything up themselves and wrapped things up and it was great. They really did a great job, so. No, we did not sell our house, releasing it out to our son and his family. So once in a, soon they'll move in, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Well, unless somebody has some stories about uh, Pat here that you could tell us, I guess that's all. I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'll tell you a story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Steve okay. is Steve is up here rolling his eyes. <laughs> After we moved here, um, I was I was volunteering at the thrift box. And this one day, Steve sat with some lovely ladies. And so they were visiting. And I, I, I knew he had, vis he had sat with some ladies that he didn't know. And so um, later on that evening, we were at dinner. And these women came up to me and said, Steve, is this the boss? <laughs> and I said, I'm not the boss. He said, oh, Steve says you are. <laughs> And I said, you never told him my name? No. <laughs> so in his eyes, I'm the boss, but not really. And that was any other embarrassing <laughs> things you can entertain us with? Oh, God. Too many, too many to even mention. Well, maybe if any of you would like to come up and ask Steve or Pat questions. <laughs> yes, Steve. <laughs> yeah. And we'll otherwise oh, hi, we'll. Doris. Yes, yes. The thrift box? And the, yes, I did. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Was she really? Yeah, I understand. I've been there for 50, and Janice has been there for 65 years, right, Janice? 64. Sorry. <laughs> Pretty close. Yeah, it's, it's a good organization. It really is for women. Anything else? Anything else? Well, thank you. I'm glad to know you. <laughs> yes. Well, I think there are many who are glad to know you here. <laughs> we need all the smiles we can get, huh? <laughs> well, might as well. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll be so glad when these masks are gone and we can recognize yeah. each other. <laughs> It'll be really nice for the people other that, yeah. that are new here. Yes. So, I mean, I don't even know who the new people are. <laughs> well, I we stay I right here and have fun. <laughs> I mean, we see our son and family, or they come, well, he comes over more than the rest of the family, but. Um, we just really lay low and we love it here. So these are our friends and family. Uh, that's how Steve and I feel about this place. It's really like an extended family. Well, well have you thought of volunteering to interview people? <laughs> He'd probably be good. Yeah. 
probably be good. He asked the questions about travel. I never thought of asking. <laughs> we can recruit you and, you know. You think of good questions. <laughs> oh, watch out. <laughs> Okay, I guess, folks, that's all and for the afternoon, but feel free to come up and visit. Yeah. Steve. Steve's next. <laughs> oh, I don't have anybody next yet. But if anyone wants to volunteer, you know, because I can't remember whom I've done. And uh, I've asked a couple of people, can I interview? And they say, you already have. And that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> And I've been, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's true. Many people say no, and, and uh, but you can always change your mind and say yes, but there are so many new people and so many people who've been here that I haven't interviewed and it's just by chance. So I, I do have some in mind though, uh, coming up and, and staff, I have Andre, you know, from the front desk. And I think uh, EJ from marketing, I think, are the two that are going to be for the staff at the, uh, later in the month. So you'll be hearing about that. Okay, thanks. This is great that all of you have come. And thank I, you I for think coming. We, yeah, thank you. And we have, uh, I think we're on Zoom and 998 too. So this is great. Thank you. Thank you.